and welcome back to my channel. This week we're gonna be doing a glaze with me. So I have like a bunch of stuff that I just got out of the kiln and I really need to glaze. And I figured you guys could just hang out with me if I don't drop my shit in the meantime. Let's get started. So I got a couple of these like woodland mugs that I've been working on. They're mainly for commission, but I also have a couple of extras that I could upload to like my shop. And so I wanted to kind of just get them going. Ew, glazes never smell good, but I'm gonna use my uh, my Chino. You're supposed to start with Chino if you end up using it, so. And that's what I use for like my woodsy texture. We'll get this going. I usually try to start on like one side of the handle so that way like when I get around, I can tell how many laps I've done. Cause once it's all covered and you start going for coats like two and three, I start looking at it like, what did I already paint? What did I not? Or at least like with how many coats. Cause if I know particularly with this glaze, if I don't do three coats, it gets hella rough. And like, it's just like uncomfortable texture wise. Better. Better. There we go. I don't feel like I'm very coordinated today because the shit is just going everywhere. Don't drip, don't drip, don't drip, don't drip. All right, coat one is done. All right, round two. I feel like sometimes I'm like singing songs in my head to like get things done where I'm like, and you know, like, do you guys ever do that? You like almost like time yourself. It's like when I run the dishwasher and like have something heating up in the microwave at the same time. And I'm like, okay, I got three minutes to do this right now. I feel like it keeps me focused when I am having a very hard time being focused which is almost always, um, but somehow I still do art despite all of that. But I think most artists are a little ADD, ADHD. Don't judge me, I'm constantly putting my tools in my mouth. It's honestly a problem. It's also like since I've started filming, I've had to like resist the urge to stick my tongue out when I'm focusing. Cause I used to always be that kid where it's like every photo I'm like, like <laughs> just always hanging out. There's a train. <laughs> There's a train, obviously. Um, and when I'm here late at night, it scares the living crap out of me, as you can tell. <laughs> it's also because it's like not that late in the day either that it wasn't too bad just now, but there's been other times where like it beeped and I just was like, Bleh! and like pot's dead already. Like I am the clumsiest human. 
I always say I'm like a bull in a china shop, except it's my china shop. So it doesn't matter if I break things, as long as I can live with it, which a lot of the times like I'll just sit there and like ponder my life choices for a couple hours after that, but I'm still doing it. So there's gotta be something. Either that or just like pure stubbornness to quit. But no, I like doing this. Yeah, I'm doing two of these. This woman got a one of these woodland mugs for me last year at the Renaissance Fair. And her mom actually reached out cause she saw my little name at the bottom. And um, she found me, sent me an email and wanted to get like a whole set for her daughter cause she already had one. So she's getting three more and I don't know. I'm excited that somebody found it and I feel like that would be like a really awesome present. Especially when it's like something like pottery where it's like, yeah, let me go get custom dish sets. Like, I don't know. If somebody did that for me, I'd be really stoked. All right. Two, two out of three. One more time. I'm gonna have a Daft Punk song stuck in my head actually. It's actually been in my head for like three days. I watched like an America's Got Talent where some guy just kept playing it over and over again. And <laughs> I think I pissed myself. <laughs> Luckily on this third coat, I just kind of like slap it together. Cause as long as it's something that like the hands aren't gonna touch, which really just means like, you don't really have to work on the crevices as much cause I've already gotten those. But I could just kind of get that on there because the third coat really makes it different from being like rough to like being soft, but still matte. And with matte glazes, I feel like it's always like way more important to do that, to get like all three coats. Cause even if you don't see it visually, you're gonna feel it. And I have such a texture issue with things that if it doesn't feel good, I'm not touching it, let alone buying it. All right, we're done with one of them. Fast forward like an hour of my life and now we have three mugs that are a third of the way done. So I'm gonna take like this like little scrubber brush and I'm just gonna get like all the spots that I got glaze on that I shouldn't have, which is well, kind of a lot, cause I'm messy. It only took me like 10 years of doing pottery to realize that I could just take a wet, like flat brush to get all of the glaze off the parts that I don't want. So pro tip, it is like weirdly satisfying though to like crispen up those lines. Kind of like the difference between like, so I just did this one in the middle, I don't know, see it? And these others have like all the stuff, but like this is like such a harsh line cause I ended up using the, the flat brush. I don't know, for me, it's the little things that really make your stuff. All right, well, I'm bored of this. So we're gonna move on to the next project and we'll put these off to the side. Let's do these cauldrons because I have uh, quite a lot of them, honestly. Oh, there goes my sponge. Now I have like all these cute little decals. I get my decals from Elan Pottery. So if you like them, go check out her shop. She makes some really cool stuff, but I got some like moths and other kinds of moths and some like deer skulls and stuff. Um, this clay is like chocolatey brown right now, but it's supposed to turn like jet black in the kiln. So that should be pretty cool. And I'll probably leave that like unglazed because I really, I want to feel like a cauldron. So like cauldrons aren't shiny and clean. They're, you know, they're rusty and they look old. And that's how we're gonna keep it rustic. Cool. I'm just gonna grab whatever, um, but these seem to lighten up. So we're gonna use some 
Let's try the textured turquoise and some Arctic blue. And maybe we'll throw some like, some oatmeal on it. Cause that makes everything kind of cool. If you check out Pinterest glaze combinations, they have a lot of good stuff on there. And like somehow oatmeal is always on everything from Potter's Choice, so. Oh, that's dry. Hmm. Damn it. I'm gonna go add water and be right back. It's just chemicals, it'll all melt down, right? Well, I'll let that sit in the water for a little bit and we'll come back to that. That'll be the top coat. It'll only be on the outside in case it makes it weird. So, where's my brush? This one. Let's do some texture turquoise first. Well, I'll do those, yeah, first. I never know what to do. So I guess we'll start with the inside. And I love these fan brushes for glazing. They really just kind of like make everything so easy to spread out. But they're expensive from, um, well, they're expensive if you get them by themselves, but if you get them in those like little packs of like five or six, there's usually at least one of these in there from like Michael's or like Walmart. So you can get them for like a dollar and they're great. And you never want to get good brushes for pottery because You'll ruin it. You know what, we're gonna go back to these because a couple of them, I know are supposed to be in like this like purple color. So I'll go for the inside. I know it all looks like one color right now, but I swear it's going to turn out super different. It never ceases to amaze me like how ugly something can look before it gets put through the kiln once it has the glaze on it and then like how crazy different it'll look right afterwards. To me, it always feels like Christmas. It's like you like wake up and you open the kiln and it's like, none of these actually look like mine, um, but I'm happy I have them and I can call them mine. Especially when you're like not really sure how something's gonna look after, you're like sick. You know, it's a good thing I'm getting this all on video while I like think this out of like what I'm gonna try because I guarantee you I'm gonna put it in the kiln. And then in two days when I take it out, I'm just gonna be like, I don't know what I did. And now I'll never be able to do it again. Cause the amount of times I've gotten like a fire piece out where I'm like this, this is my favorite thing I've ever made. I'm gonna do it again, but with like something different, like glaze wise. And then I'm like, but I didn't write it down and like, Again, I don't plan. I'm not good at those things. I mean, I could be, but like I choose not to. I'm like, oh, I got it all up here. And then it comes out and I'm like, brain's empty. I have two brain cells left. Um, yeah. So texture turquoise, smoky Merlot, possibly the Arctic blue. We'll see what I do with it. But you know what? I have like a bunch of these cauldrons. What you guys don't see is I have like 26 cauldrons sitting in front of me. Right. 
keep getting glazed all over me. And like, the longer it sits there, the more it's gonna stain my skin because of the iron. We'll put it on one of the cauldrons. Got a little bit of all of it, we'll see. Now I wait for this to dry. I feel like half of this is just like waiting for it to dry. Which like kind of works out because like obviously I have a really hard time like starting something and finishing it like in the same sitting. Or at least like without interrupting the process like a million different times to start other projects and processes. Processes, processes, whatever, you know what I mean. Okay, coat three. And we'll do it again. Oh, we're almost out of purple. All right. You know, I do really wish though I was a morning person because it would just be really nice to have some like natural sunlight in here. Like granted it'd be hot as balls, but like at least there would be light and I could like see outside. I don't know, the sun makes me happy, but like something about staying up late makes me happier. Can I just, you know, I should just go live in like Iceland or somewhere that I get both, at least for part of the year. That's coat one. All right, I got really, really tired of painting. So we're just gonna dip and hope it turns out okay. So this glaze and mix called lobster. It's kind of like a pinkish coral, but I haven't, put it on black for a while, so I kind of forget what color it turns more on the dark side. And I got all these like little cauldron planters, which I think would be cute just to do like the rim because you don't want to like glaze the inside of this. But let's hope I just don't cover up all of our design.
All right, I am done with you. Cool. On to the next bucket. <laughs> white speckled it's basically the exact same glaze base um but the other one had a pink mason stain in it so so we got more tiny plates but you know we're just we're just gonna go for it with this one we'll just do this less noticeable on the light clay than it is in the dark. Some people are like super clean about this process. And like for me, I don't know why, but dip glazing just brings out like the messiest parts of me. Okay, that is enough of that nonsense. Mm. Do I do like one black and white cauldron just for like, it feels like such a missed opportunity though to make it look like potion-esque with some cool glaze. No, we will not be doing that. Okay, we're done with that. Back to this. I got some Arctic blue. So we're gonna try it. We'll just do it on one, just to see what happens. Well, only on one with the textured turquoise that I already have. I'll try it again, probably with a different combo after this. But like, it's usually like so light that it almost blends too much with the um, like lighter clay body. So I'm thinking maybe it'll do something cool in the black. At least that's what I'm hoping, right? We gonna find out. All right, well that's one coat of that. And I'm gonna Try it on this. I got a big planter cauldron. We'll see if she works. Oh, it's already getting a little chalky. I'm touching it with all this stuff everywhere. All right, maybe one mug. Let's do that. Got another death moth. Oh, this sharp on the bottom. I gotta sand that later. Oh, well, at least I wore my throwaway clothes because I knew I was gonna be getting dirty, but somehow I always feel surprised when it happens, like as if I expected any different, right? Okay, one mug, one planter, and then a rim on this one, which is already starting to drip. <sighs> okay. Cool. All right, since that has other glaze on it, it's not dry yet, but we'll just kind of cycle back through layering these guys.
Okay. Ooh, you know what? Let's do a couple of these guys with a blue top. Okay, so I made, I got up at like 6 a.m. the other day because I wanted to build a little mushroom army and they all have butts on them. I had like 30 of these. And you know what, while I was doing the other purple and the other colors, I probably should have used the dirty brush to at least paint some of the tops, but I didn't get that far. So, you know, we're gonna do it now. So we got a couple of these in this light blue color. Just to give you all an idea of how many of these I have made, along with all these cauldrons. Okay, now I'm gonna be using this like sapphire float and I'll probably put it over the Arctic blue, just cause it's like dark and eerie. And I feel like what better for cauldrons than dark and eerie, so. I hope it looks good. If not, this is going on pretty much everything else and that's gonna suck. But again, we don't plan, we just do it. Yeah, I like tried looking up all the glaze combos before getting in here and I saw like some, but it's like all of the ones that I wanted were either things that like I didn't have on me right now or like I know that the pottery store is out of at the moment. And like, either way, they're closed today and I am never around when they're open because like, I feel like so many art stores are open from like 12 to five, 12 to six. And it's like, great, I work 12 to eight all the time. So of course I can't come get it when I need to. Oh, don't drip, don't drip, don't drip. Did I, but I dripped on myself. Oh, there goes my brush. We'll paint the big one here. And I think this will be either like a candy bowl or maybe like, I was about to say soup, but I'm like, who the hell is eating this much soup? dry we'll do a couple more of these I like how big this guy's nose is it's quite weird come on stand up i know you can there we go It's like, ah, uh, who, me? <laughs> Just like, ah, uh, they make me so happy. Okay. All right. Well, I think we're going to call it a night. So, yeah. Go we'll put these guys in the kiln and we'll be done. Well, I'll come back tomorrow. Then I'll put, finish them, put them in the kiln, and then we'll be done. But I am 
not gonna make you sit through all that because I probably have at least another like five, six hours of work ahead of me. So thank you all so much for watching and I really appreciate you all being here and hanging out with me and giving me something to do. So um, if you like this video, go ahead and hit like, subscribe and I will see you all next week.